Okay, fought my way through these guys again. Only have six Estus left. So, here we go. That was a particularly hard run here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try this, uh, this item that gives me temporary dark defense. your sword. Okay. Let's get my life back up. damage as possible while it's in this form. Alright, get up nice and close. Okay, that's alright. It's dark that we want to run away from. It's a laser beam. Shoot you. Only twice regain stamina so that when you land, Spot at you, which will do more damage. Okay. laser beaming. I think I might be far enough, oh god, away from the one over there, but got into a bad position. I'm on the wrong weapon. Okay, we're gonna have fireballs incoming. Fired twice in a row. I thought that I thought that fireball was left over from the one it just did. Ugh. I feel like I'm so close to breaking this boss. So close. All right. So we'll try dark buffing. Although I have a feeling it's not going to do much. doing a lot of damage. Keep doing that. Keep doing that move. Don't split. Don't you split. Get another good combo. Okay, you split. Damn it! Jump too early. One little mistake like that can make all the difference. Get under this one. Ah, can't 
miss. Can't afford to miss like that. Getting them down to like one more combo from death and then screwing something up. I got way too greedy at the end. I saw the dark. I should have just run out of range, not risked getting hit by both of them. Oh my god. Bad. Ooh, that was close. So we want to get you into kind of like stun lock, sort of. Nope. Seems like there's certain animations where when I ah, shit. There's certain animations where I can keep him stunned, and there's other animations that he just poises right through. I thought maybe I would buy some of these, uh, gold pine resins. Like, a lot of them. We use those. <laughs> the Kmore. I love it. Okay. Farewell. So now we've got plenty of weapon buffs. Oh god, I got the other one. Damn it. to chase me. You just stay right there. Okay, that wasn't too bad. What? Plunging attack. I put on this hat because it has slightly better dark defense, and uh, and it seems like it's it's the the dark attack that's killing me the most often against the dark lurker. All right, can I get just this one guy? Have I figured out how to do this yet? If I get him and only him. Aggro me. Okay, here we go. There we go. There we go. Don't you heal. your turn. is right there.
Okay, I've got one green blossom and lots of gold pine resin. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Don't you do it. Oh, see, I just wasted that resin by doing that. It's a waste. Okay, dark. Fire. the resin. That was a really good exchange. Gotta dodge this dark ball. Fire and laser. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was a fun fight. I didn't even see what the achievement was. What did I get? Oh my goodness. My heart is racing. Climax, yeah, that's about right. Xanthus crown, overcoat, gloves, and waistcoat. Ooh. I bequeath these to you. Take them on your pilgrimage. Dragon chime. The embrace of the... Okay. You sell anything new? the dark. Right, first of all, let's get rid of this silly hat. Got our Binox. This was my plan. There we go. Get rid of this back on. I guess we'll keep those there. And the feather. So Uh, 
second chime. 50 faith. S in lightning and B in dark. Sacred ch chime shaped as a dragon, a catalyst for miracles and hexes. This chime sat long in the dark chasm, but still one sense but still one senses a sublime purity. Only those with the deepest faith can wield this chime, but they will be rewarded with greatly amplified spells. Okay. Whoa, what is this? This blindingly bright yellow costume is said to have been worn by the Xanthus King. Despite the, con the costumes being in near tatters, its yellow hues are mysteriously unfaded. Whoa, that is yellow. <laughs> I like it, honestly. <laughs> perhaps the heinously towering head cloth crown served some purpose, or perhaps it was some strange display of power. Okay, the headpiece looks utterly silly. But the rest of it looks kind of cool, actually. Does it give me anything? We'll use it for a while. We'll be yellow. Nobody calls me yellow. Okay, so we've beaten the, the dark. Did we get a soul for that? No, we didn't get a soul from Dark Lurker. Oh yeah, we did. Soul of what lurks in the dark chasm. The dark chasm of old is the remnant of some ancient dis dissipated being. Use the special soul of what lurks within to acquire numerous souls or to create something of great worth. The remnant of some ancient dissipated being, I'm guessing, is Manus. So let's uh, let's head back to Strayed and to Ornifex and see what we can make with that. The Dark Lurker Soul. Oh, what a fun fight that was. Life Drain Patch. Consume a number of souls and affix a dark to a certain affix dark to a certain spot. Inflicts damage upon those who touch it. This distorted dark brewed by hexers drains the life force of those who touch it. So it's kind of like a proximity damage. Like you, you put down a trap and if somebody walks on it, it like blows up and hits them with dark or something. Okay. Blah blah blah. You're not scary. Let's go to Ornifex. I like the yellow outfit because it's, you know, it's different. It's bright. You don't see a lot of bright in Dark Souls. Give me anything for a Dark Lurker soul? No. Okay. Come again. In that case, nom 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 nom. Twenty-two thousand. Set to Tranglite Castle. And all right, let me read the description on this thing one more time. It said under the castle, right? Grants access to the throne room beneath castle. So I think I want to go to the throne of want, which is... Uh, this one. wonder if it's worth going and talking to the king in the crypt. I wonder if I can talk to him now. I mean, he was a zombie, so I probably can't talk to him. Right. Let's put it on you. Okay. 
good ring set. I've got my two shields. Bringing a splash of color into the Throne of Want. Fingarl. Zarin. Ben Hart. I really do kind of want to summon Ben Hart. If this is a boss. Oh, well, no, I already fought the bosses in here. Ooh. Cutscene. Why does this look like another boss? Grave undead. It's a predator. You have proven yourself to me. Uh... What? Now, be one with the dark. Is this because I killed the Dark Lurker? Nishandra. This is the queen. Okay. Let's see what you do. I'm getting, uh, what is that? Cursed. I'm getting cursed. Okay. So you have a laser beam. AOE, aren't you? You always AOE. I knew it! I knew you were gonna AOE. Did I call that or what? Oh. Oh my. Oh, we're spinning again. We're playing that game. Oh, my life bar is going down. That's what's going on. Laser beamed. Another laser beam. So I think those little things are cursing me when I go near him. Why don't you come over here? The AOE. Oh, that kills all the little ones. Oh no! I mistimed that somehow. That's gonna be a laser beam. No, it's not. She's resummoning. miserable places to get hit by that laser beam. It had to be on a ledge. Oh my goodness. That hurt. <laughs> that, that just crushed my soul. Oh man. 
So I guess I should wear the curse ring for that fight. Not that it would have mattered. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't running out of health that killed me. <laughs> it was running out of floor. <laughs> oh. I see getting cursed breaks this ring. Because I lost my humanity there. And this ring was fine when I went in. So let me just throw on the curse ring instead of that. And do I even have a curse ring? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh man, they're just gonna run into that room too, aren't they? Llewellyn. I can never pronounce that name. It's got that that kind of Welsh, uh, that kind of Welsh double L at the beginning, which has like an a, like a f, like an F sound to it almost. Llewellyn. I can never pronounce it. Llewellyn. Oh God, I can't believe I got zapped off that ledge. Of all the luck, right? I was totally winning that fight. Called the AoE. I just got bumped off an edge. Gravity. People said that gravity is the true the true boss of Dark Souls. I'm starting to agree with them. Actually it was funny when I when I was putting together the death montage of my Dark Souls 1 playthrough. Uh it was it was startling how many of my deaths were from falling off of ledges, particularly in Blight Town. I, I must have had like <laughs> like fifteen just rolling off the ledge deaths just in Blight Town alone. Oh look, it's a Vengarl impersonator. Hello. All right, so we're going to take off the king's ring. Yeah, so I don't think I actually ever bought the curse ring. And I don't remember who sold it. Maybe that was Rosabeth? She had some defense rings, I think. But I do not have it. So, how about we do... Could do dark defense, maybe? She looks dark. But what I should definitely do is put on resistant armor at least. So how about... Uh, I guess when in doubt, putting on the... Uh, putting on the steel protection ring or the restoration ring is not a bad idea. So I think I want to use this shield. And let's stack some dark defense. Or not dark defense, uh, curse defense. What is curse? Curse is this one in the bottom right. So there's 45. Fifty-three, but I can't wear that armor. Ooh, sixty-five on on Agdane's stuff. Better. Saw fifty on fifty on the cat boots. Okay. And these things actually have forty four. Oh, you, they're the best. That's great because I didn't really want to take them off. Okay, I saw fourteen in there somewhere. 14 for the Jester's cap. This is going to be the ugliest outfit imaginable. 16 on the Iron Knight mask. Whoa, 83 on the Xanthus crown. 
done. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like my new outfit? <laughs> it's so hideous. Oh, I love it. Do I have any temporary curse resistance items? Temporarily boost. Okay, so I've got poison, bleeding, petrify, and that's it. So I don't have any curse resistance. But what I do have are effigies. <laughs> Those are curse, curse curing. I don't need the feather. Oh, I didn't even buff my weapon. Derp. Didn't need poison. Okay. How about you? I didn't really use my shield at all. gonna be over pretty soon. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> go, go, curse resistance. <laughs> Soul of Nashandra. Let's see. Soul of Nishandra, Queen of Drangleic. Nishandra was born of the dark with an insatiable lust for strength. Use the special soul of this prisoner of desire to acquire numerous souls. Nishandra was a prisoner of desire. She wanted. She wanted. Which is why she was in the throne of want. What did she want? Strength. Insatiable lust for strength. She said that Fendrick, Fendrick never assumed the true throne, so I guess she wanted the true throne, which, I mean, is this, like, is this like a giant throne? Is that the idea here? That we are in the, in the throne of want? So this hut, too. Oh! There's a cutscene. Uh-oh. Why is it focusing on the giant statues? Oh god. <laughs> Phase two of fight incoming. I knew that was too easy. Oh, what is gonna come out of there? Oh man. I just had a really cool idea. Are we gonna have to like fight the like original you undead or something? The fire. You who bear the curse. Once the fire is linked, souls will flourish anew, and all of this will play out again. It is your choice to embrace or renounce this. Yeah, look at that outfit. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. Oh, is this a throne? That looks like a throne. It's the true throne of want. Great sovereign, take your throne. I don't want to. I don't want to be a sovereign. Wait, why is it? It just said it was going to give me a choice to accept or renounce it. I renounce it. I don't want to be the ruler. Bad things happen to rulers. Only you can see. 
Well, I can't see much of anything. Got a silly hat on. <laughs> and silly feet on. <laughs> In fact, I just look all around silly. Hey, what the hell? I don't want to do this at all. Nothing in my character wants this. Where's my choice? To like turn around and leave. Oh, that's the end of the game. Wow. Okay. I absolutely was not expecting to beat the game today. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Dark Souls 2, everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I missed a ton of stuff. I was not at all expecting to, uh, to win. So, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I would have liked to have, um, if I realized that that was the ending, I, I would have liked to have, like, done another round of stuff and, you know, kind of made a quick run through every zone to see what doors I didn't open and what treasures I might have missed, and I wanted to read all the lore on all the items again, but I'll take a win. Nothing wrong with a win. So, uh, everyone who has uh, followed along this series, thank you. Thank you for the views and thanks for all the comments and keeping it mostly civil. <laughs> a few slip-ups here and there, but, uh, but overall I, I still can't believe that the YouTube audience has been, uh, you know, very warm and welcoming to, to, toward me for the, for the videos I've been posting. I definitely appreciate that. And, uh, there are quite a few, there are many more of you watching this, this series than, than we're here for the, for the Dark Souls 1 playthrough, so, um, I know it was a lot more difficult to kind of, to keep, to keep a rain on, to keep rains in on, um, on spoilers this time around. There were a few things that got spoiled, but, uh, but nothing big, and I, and I did manage, for the most part, to stay far enough ahead of the chapters that I was posting. To, uh, so that in most cases it didn't really matter if something was spoiled because I had already like cleared the zone, I guess. Uh, the Mytha. Mytha was the big one that, that somebody told me what to do, so I tried to see if I could find a way around it, and luckily it wasn't necessary to clear the, to, uh, to clear the poison out of that room. Thank you to, uh, to FromSoft for making another game that I enjoyed quite a bit. And, uh, I want to say, is, is this another Namco Bandai? I don't even know if this was a Namco Bandai production, but if it was, thank you guys too. And, as usual, being as how this is the end of the series, opening the floodgates to tell me all of the stuff that I missed, so that if I do another run of this game, and I'm not sure that I will, uh, then I'll go back and do all that stuff. And if I think of it, I'll record it. I, I do still have, I, I know everybody's been asking me, what about that second playthrough of Dark Souls 1? So here's the deal, I, I recorded an entire second playthrough of Dark Souls 1. I used like the heaviest weapons I could find and kind of just threw my shield on my back and two-handed most of the run, did a strength build, and it was so fun. And it was stupid overpowered, like I just killed everything so hard. Um, so, but what I didn't do was record live commentary. I just recorded the gameplay and I thought I would kind of splice out, you know, just the highlights and then kind of record some post commentary over it. And what happened was Dark Souls 2 came out and I never got around to doing the post com. So I have like four episodes of Dark Souls 1 second playthrough footage that's already been edited down to the good parts and I just need to record the post commentary. But... I suck at recording post commentary, so it could take me a while to do that. In the meanwhile, I'm looking for uh, for some other games, and uh, and I'm going to go through. I know that a lot of you have left recommendations for games that I should try. Uh, some of them are on the PlayStation. Uh, I'm going to probably in the next couple of days, uh, maybe after the weekend, I'm going to upload probably something short. Um, it's a secret. Keep the secret. Uh, but you'll see what I'm up to. There are, there are also a couple of, uh, of PC games that I'm interested in playing as well. I, I'm really interested in trying the Fallout series. I've, I've, seen, uh, I've seen my boyfriend and some of his friends play through parts of the game. Not, not enough to really 
get a good grasp of, of how the game works, but it looks so fun. It looks like, you know, you're really kind of thrown into this world and you get to, you know, you get to roleplay your character. You get to choose exactly what you do, where you go, how you're going to build your character. It's, it's really left up to you. That's exciting to me. That's, that's something I would like to do in a game. Um, I've played Skyrim a lot and that was kind of a similar thing. It looked, it, in fact, the gameplay looked kind of similar to Skyrim, except it was, you know, guns instead of, you know, swords and sorcery. So that's one of the things, doing, playing like Fallout 3 is one of the games I might try. So I'm going to let these credits go to the end. Thanks again. And I will see you when I see you. Bye, all. I didn't really give any credit to the music in this game. I love the music. I don't think I ever mentioned that while I was recording these episodes, but the music is spectacular. I want to just get like a DVD of just the songs and nap on the couch and listen to them. All right, Chloe-Anne, so here's the deal. Uh, I've purchased a plot of land in the uh, Dragonary, and I'm thinking about building a cabin. And I was wondering if you would be interested in moving in with me. There's a spectacular view, and you do seem interested in these, like, kind of petrified bones. There's tons of petrified bones all around the area. We could adopt a dragon as a pet have a pet dragon. There's plenty of resin. And we could have, we could cook dragon eggs. We could have dragon omelets in the morning. What do you think? Come on, I'll show you. <laughs>